Good morning and welcome to Bar at Home, everybody. So you'll notice you'll need a few pieces of equipment for our class. You'll need a nice sturdy chair. I prefer a dining room chair that just works out a little bit better for me. So if you have one of those, that's great. Okay, if you've got a plastic chair, that'll do. But if you've got something a little bit heavier, that's probably better. The other thing you'll need is a nice mat. I've selected a little bit of a thicker mat here today. If that works for you, that's excellent. If you only have a thin mat, that's fine. As long as you don't feel any discomfort on your feet or on your knees or anything, that's great. However, if you are kneeling and you do feel like your knees are too close to the floor, ideally you would fold up your mat if you have a thin mat to give yourself more cushion. Other options there are to put a towel under your knees or a pillow. So you always want to have those nearby in case you need them. The other couple of tools you'll need is a small set of weights. So I like three pound weights. That's just my preference. However, if you have four or five pounds and it doesn't cause you any discomfort or to kind of lose your form or anything like that, that's great. If you have a one or two pound weight and that's better for you because that's what you have, that's great too. If you don't have weights, remember good options for those are going to be full water bottles or canned goods. Okay, those are great alternatives. And then the last but not least, we're going to have the small squishy ball. I love this. If you don't have this at home, that's okay. Just remember you can use a small towel that you roll up so it has the same shape. Or you can go ahead and use a small pillow that you can fold up in lieu, use in lieu of not having a squishy ball. Okay. So once you've got all those items, you are going to go ahead and step a little bit away from your chair and then just check your surroundings real quick. Make sure you've got a clear space around you that there's not anything that you can go ahead and bump into. Okay? And once you've kind of secured that, you are going to go ahead and start with me. All right. So standing with your feet about hip distance apart, bend your knees with me. Take the chin down to the chest. Start to move the head to one side and then forward to the other side. And as you start to move that head, I just want you to focus on your breathing. You're going to be inhaling and exhaling. Good. Just moving that head back and forth. We've got two more of these. Fantastic. Last one here. And we're bringing that head up. Good. Start to roll those shoulders up, back, down, and around. Rotating all the way through. Inhaling and exhaling as you get into it. Good. Give it three more. Two more. And one more, moving into arm circles next. Making sure you're not gonna bump your chair. If you are, you need to step further away. That's okay, do that for yourself, keep breathing. You have three, two, and one. Good, now start with the arms going back, the tailbone back, eyes up on the inhale. On the exhale, tuck the pelvis, look down. You're gonna inhale to go back, exhale to go forward. Inhale to go back, exhale to go forward. Give me two more, inhaling back, exhaling forward. Last one, inhale and exhale and let's dive over great hands down toward the floor shift the weight to the ball of the foot bend at the knee and straighten it good bend it and straighten it give me a couple more good give me two more perfect one more good and a little bend at the knee abs then you're going to roll it all the way up to the top good shift to the right foot point the left up take the arms up to the left i want you to plie down and tap the other side and tap it and tap good and just breathe through this inhaling and exhaling as you shift your weight from one side to the other good you've got a couple more perfect two more sets good final set one side then the other and bring it on back down all right so standing with our feet hip distance toes forward place the hands on the hips relax the shoulders sink down to the knees a little bit move your hips forward so you feel the pressure move into the fingertips just kind of making a note of what your body feels like here. That back's a little flat. Those abs are a little bit squished. From there, send that seat back. Feel that pressure move into the thumb. Good. That back's a little crunchy. Abs are a little bit stretched out. Slowly move your hips forward till you've got the equal pressure. Relax the shoulders down and draw the abdominal strong. From here, we're going to straighten up through those legs. Good. Now, I'm going to have you come on over near your chair. I want you to take your inside hand onto the chair, outside hand out onto the hip. Now, keeping your feet about hip distance apart here, I want you to lift those heels up high. Great. Now, the height of the heels is up to you here. If you can go high and work from that high heel position, that's fantastic. If it's a little too much, remember you can lower your heels some. From here, everybody, we're going to bend the knees and sink down. Now, I want you to relax the shoulders, engage the abdominals, and take your outside arm to first. From here, start to pulse down. And two. Good. And three. Perfect. Four. Five. Keep breathing. Six. Seven. Good. So again, these are pretty teeny little moves here. Teeny tiny little pulse. Good. Breathing through it. Starting to really wake up those quadriceps here. 
Good, focus on your breathing. Beautiful, everybody. Checking into the heels, making sure that they're in a good opportune position. Again, if they have to be lower or even all the way down, if that's just better for you, that's okay. It's not the end of the world. A little bit higher is gonna make it a little more challenging. So find what works for you right now. Breathe through this. Two more, good. One more, stay here and start to tap the knees. And tap, and tap. Good, so I like to imagine I've got a little magnet on my knees and I'm just pulling those knees together. Keep breathing, kind of waking up those inner thighs, feeling that deep abdominal connection as you work. Good, shoulders are back, the abs are in, hang in there. Good, eight to go. Seven, six, five, good. Four, three, two, and one. Put the knees back to hip distance, open the arms up to the side. Start to rotate the hips forward, send the seat back. Forward, send the seat back. Forward, send the seat back. Keep breathing. Good. Inhaling and exhaling. You got it. Beautiful. Forward and back. Forward and back. Keep breathing. Forward and back. Hang in there. Forward and back. So as you move the hips forward, pull the abs a little bit deeper. Keep breathing. Try to relax the shoulders down. Keep the tension out of your neck. Focus on your breath. Good. Breathe through. Four. Good. Three. Two more. One more. And then bring it center and lower those heels. Great. So let's turn and face our chair real quick. We're going to start by stepping our right foot forward and our left foot back and then bending at the knees. I want the back knee under the hip, the front knee over the foot. From there, everyone, take your hands onto your hips. If your left hip is drooped down a little bit, go ahead and activate your core to go ahead and even those hips out. Hands can remain on the hip or they can go to the chair here. Let's start to pulse down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Stay here. Lift the front heel and lower. Lift it and lower. Good. Lift it and lower. Lift and lower. Keep breathing. You've got six to go. Good. Five, four, three, two. Now keep the heel high and pulse for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Put that heel down. Come on up. Shift those feet. So step the right foot back this time and bend the knees. Keeping the left knee over the ankle and the right knee under the right hip. So again, hands go onto the hips. Draw the pubic bone to the navel to level the hips and engage the core. Hands can stay on the hips or again, they can go to the chair. Start to take the right knee down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now lift the front heel and lower. Lift it and lower. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Lift the heel. Keep it lifted and pulse for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Put the front heel down and meet me standing. Shake that out a little bit, everybody. Take a breath. Good. All righty. Perfect. So from here, I'm going to have you go ahead and turn that chair around because we're going to go ahead and take a little stretch and then we're going to go ahead and move on. So we'll turn the chair to face us. All righty. And I'm going to have you go ahead and place that ball down on the floor. Now I'm going to have you go ahead and come down onto the knees. I'm just going to take a little stretch here. What I want you to do is separate the knees a little bit, put the feet together, and you're going to hold your fingertips on the chair, but you're going to lean back just a little bit. You're going to really feel that stretch in those quadriceps. Take a nice deep breath, inhaling and exhaling. Good. Whew. Perfect. And then you're going to go ahead and come all the way back. Good. Now, I'm going to have you stand back up, placing the heels of the hands on the chair, wrapping the fingers around. You're going to walk your body on back till you find a nice L shape in the body. So you want to make sure the body weight doesn't shift into the arms, but you're going to really focus on shifting that body mass back. From here, bend those knees, sink down. Step the left foot back and point the toe. Now raise the tailbone up a little bit. Pull the belly button to the spine and float the left leg up. From here, start to squeeze up. Squeeze up. Squeeze up. Good. Keep breathing. Four, five, six. Good. Seven, eight. Nine, good, and 10. Now I'm gonna have you go ahead and flex the foot and I want you to go ahead and pulse again for 10, for nine, for eight, for seven, for six, for five, for four, 
for three, for two, and one. Now bend the knee and point the toe, ready? And start to poke up, two, like you're trying to poke the ceiling with the toe. Good, keep breathing, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Flex the foot, keep pushing, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, now I'm gonna have you send that left leg straight again, ready? So this time you're gonna keep the toe pointed, you're gonna draw small circles for one, for two, for three, for four, for five, good, for six, for seven, and eight, and nine, and 10. Now flex the foot, circle the other direction for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bend the knee. Now I'm gonna have you go ahead and keep that foot flexed. You're gonna lift for three, ready? So we're gonna go up, 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 and release. Up, 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 and release. Up, 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 and release. Lift, 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 and release. Lift, 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 and release. Keep breathing, up, 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 and release. Up, 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 and release. Hang in there, lift, 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 and release. Lift, 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 and release. Lift, 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 and release. Lift, 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 good. Check that right knee, maintain that bend. Point the toe, again, up, 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 and release. Up, 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 and release. Lift, 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 and release. Lift, 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 and release, good. Up, 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 five more. Good, four to go, three more. Two more, everybody. One more, and send the left leg straight. Now lower to the floor, squeeze it up. Lower and squeeze. Lower and squeeze. Keep going, down and up. Down and up. Five more, down and up. Four more, down and up. Three more, good. Two more, Woo. One more, and bring it on in. Take a breath and come on up. Shake that out a little bit for me. Good, okay. So I'm gonna move my chair to the other side, all right? Just so it's a little bit easier to see. Okay, perfect. I want you to go ahead and give yourself a little shake. We're gonna take a nice stretch after we do the second half. Fantastic. So once more, placing the heel of the hand on the chair, walking the feet back to find that nice L shape in the body, reaching those sits bones back, bending the knees to sink down, reaching the right foot back and pointing the toes. Now from here, we're gonna raise the tailbone up a little bit, tighten the abdominals, and float the right leg up. From here, start to lift, and lift, good, and lift, keep breathing, four, five, good. Now again, you're gonna make sure that that standing knee has a tiny bend in it, keep breathing as you work, good, four, three, two, and one. Flex the foot, keep lifting, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Bend the knee, point the toe, and start to pulse. Two, good, it's like you're trying to poke the ceiling with the toe. Make sure you're not sinking, make sure your shoulders aren't rolling to your ears. Your neck is long, good, right? Eyes are down, hips are square to the floor. Good, four, three, two, and one, flex the foot, keep lifting, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Send the right leg straight, point the toe, ready? Start to draw little circles for one, for two, for three, and four, good, and five, keep breathing, squeeze that seat to draw that circle, hang in there, four, three, Two, and one. Flex the foot, other way, for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now, I'm gonna have you go ahead and bend that knee, keep that foot flexed, and we're gonna go up, 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 and release. Up, 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 and release. 
Lift, 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 and release. Lift, 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 and release. Good. Lift, 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 and release. Up, 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 and release. Good. Lift, 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 and release. Three more. Up, up, up. Good. Up, up, up. Two more. Up, up, up. One more. Up, up, up. Now point the toe. Same thing. Up, 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 and release. Up, 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 and release. Good. Lift, lift, lift. Beautiful. Up, up, up. Good. Up, up, up. Keep breathing as you work. Good. Keep going. Up, up, up. Up, up, up. Three more. Up, up, up. Two to go. Woo. One more. Good. Now send that right leg straight. Ready? Lower the leg to the floor and squeeze the lift. Lower. Squeeze it up. Lower. Squeeze it up. Good. Lower. Squeeze it up. Keep breathing. Lower. Squeeze it up. Lower, squeeze it up. Four more. Lower, squeeze it up. Lower, squeeze it up. Couple more. Good. Two more times. Perfect. One more time. And then bring it on in. Come on up. Take a breath and breathe. Good. Shake that out a little bit. All right. So turn your chair around. Let's go ahead and take a little stretch. Okay. So as you face your chair, bring your right ankle above your left knee. Bend your left knee. Send your seat back and just kind of breathe into that stretch for a moment. Good. Really give those glutes a little bit of a break. Now it's normal for your standing leg more than your working leg to get really tired in that exercise. So if your supporting leg felt it more, that's normal. Let's switch. All right, left ankle above the right knee. Bend the right knee, send the seat back, take a little breath and breathe. Good. Again, just breathe into that. Fantastic. And then we're coming on up. Good. So facing me, you're going to take one hand onto the chair again, step the feet a little bit wide, turn the toes out. I'm going to have you bend the knees and sink down. Now take your outside arm into first, whatever arm that is, doesn't matter, right or left, whatever works. Elbows are up, shoulders are down. And I want you to start to pulse. Now as you pulse, make sure the knee is over the ankle and that the knee points the same way as the middle toe. And I just want you to keep breathing through this, inhaling and exhaling. Good. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now start to lift one heel, then the other. Good. Keep breathing, try to relax the shoulders. Now this arm over here that's on the chair, it can stay there, that's fine. If you feel like you don't need it, you wanna work on your balance a little bit more intensely, you can always take the arm off here, okay? In this exercise, that's okay. But if it's just too intense or you feel wobbly, you put your hand back on the chair. My floor is a little sloped, so this particular floor for me often requires that I keep that hand in this exercise on the chair. Good, that way my ankles are more stable. Two more. One more. Now those arms are up, relax the shoulders and start to pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now opening your arms out to the side, relax the shoulders, lift the heels and pulse back for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Sink down a little deeper. The heels are down, up, down, up. Three, four, good. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Heels are up and pulse for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. The heels come down. We straighten up. Turn the toes forward a little bit and let's hinge over. Elbows to the inner thighs, lowering the seat and pressing back on the legs just ever so slightly. Good. And then let's send that seat back up and take those hands on down. Walk the feet on in with me. From here, keep the knees bent as you roll it to the top. Great. And let's go ahead and face that chair again. Fantastic. So from here, we're gonna turn our feet into a small V shape. Toes are slightly apart. We're gonna go ahead and place those hands on the chair. Good. Now from here, I'm gonna have you bend your knees, sink down, and I want you to float the right foot up off the floor. Now from here, move the right knee behind the left knee, keeping your left knee bent and your hips facing the chair, and start to squeeze back, and back, and back, good. And five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and 10 more. Little squeeze, little squeeze, little squeeze. Keep breathing, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Start to lift to the side, two, three, four, 
make sure that working leg is behind the standing leg. You never want this knee to creep ahead of it, okay? Creep through it, beautiful. You got it, 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, keep breathing, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Keep it lifted, flex the foot, push back. Two, three, four, five, good, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now I'm going to have you take that leg down. I'm going to have you step the left foot back a little bit, and you're going to hinge that right leg back on a little bit of a diagonal. Bend your elbows just ever so slightly. You're going to turn out to the right just a little bit, and I want you to lift the leg and lower. Lift the leg and lower. Good. So that back elbow is a little bit bent. You're going to keep breathing. If you have a flat chair and it's more comfortable to put your arm flat here, that's okay. Do that for yourself. Keep breathing. Four, three, good. Two, keep it up. Flex the foot and pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Little circle. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring it down. Shake it out. Good. Awesome. Let's cook the other side, shall we? I'm moving my chair over so again, it's a little easier to see. One more time. Facing the chair. Toes apart, heels together, bend the knees, relax the shoulders. Float the left foot up without changing your hips. You're going to go ahead and open your hip joint to squeeze the glute and move the left knee behind the right knee. Start to press back. Keep the right knee bent, shoulders down, hips square to the chair. Good. And again, working like always slightly behind that standing leg. Keep breathing through it as you go. Eight to go. Seven, six, five, four, three. Two and one. Keep the toe pointed, start to lift. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Keep breathing. Eight, nine, ten to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Keep it lifted. Flex the foot. Push back. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now take that leg down. Step the right foot back. Step the left leg on a diagonal. Bend at the elbows. You're going to turn the body to the left and send that left leg out to the side slightly. Start to lift and lower. Now again, that back arm can go flat on the chair if that's more comfortable to hold on with for you. That's okay. Keep breathing. Squeeze it up. Squeeze it up. Five to go. Good. Four more. Three more. Two more. Now keep it lifted and pulse up. Two, three, four, five. That standing knees bent. Abs are in. Breathe. Three, two, one. And draw a little circle. Little circle. Little circle, good. Supporting hip is probably getting pretty tired here. So just keep breathing through it. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take it on down. Woo, good. All right, let's move that chair out of the way. Great. And let's meet back down on our mats. So let's take a little stretch. Legs are long. So from here, let's bring your left ankle above your right knee, lowering your left knee, keeping that right leg straight. Let's take those arms forward to make a little fist. Bring the arms back, pressing into the mat as we hinge forward some, and roll the shoulders back and take a breath. Good. And let's come on back up and switch. Left leg's long. So bring the right ankle above the left, yeah, left, left thigh. <laughs> Lower the right knee down. You can take those arms out, make a fist, bring them back. Press in, hinge forward, and roll the shoulders back. Take a breath and breathe. Good. And then we're going to go ahead and come on back up to the top. Good. So next, everyone, we're going to get into our push-ups. Remember, if you have sensitive wrists, shoulders, or elbows, doing the push-ups on the wall is a great choice. Otherwise, you're going to stay on the mat with me. Now, from here, if you want to go ahead and make sure you've got enough cushion, if you don't feel like your mat's cushioning enough, remember what I said earlier, that you can go ahead and roll up your mat maybe two or three times to make sure you've got enough cushion under your knees. That's fine. 
If that's not working for you, remember you can get a towel or a pillow, fold it up and place it under your knees, okay? But if you're on a cushy mat like me, or if you're on a thinner mat but on a soft carpet, right, and you don't feel like you need that extra bit of cushion, you're gonna have to go ahead and listen to what you feel is right for those knees. But you should never, ever, ever feel the floor through the mat, okay? If you do, you need more cushion. So from here, we're gonna have a couple choices on the floor. I'm gonna show you the first choice. So if you're building your strength, you're gonna be here on that all fours position. And that's a great position to work in if you're kind of just working up, right, a little bit in your push-up. If you're in a more intermediate state with me, you're going to come out here, which is excellent. And then if you feel a little bit more advanced, you're welcome to go up onto your toes, okay? So if that's your choice today, that's wonderful. Remember, if you decided to be up on the wall because that's better for your joints, great. You're just going to work it there. Now, first set, hands under the shoulders, elbows bending, ribs stay, uh, the elbows stay right by the ribcage. So you don't let the arms flare, right? They stay tucked in. So you're gonna pick the position that's best for you on the floor or the wall if you need to stand up. And you're gonna go ahead and place those fingers nice and wide with your hand directly beneath your shoulders. From here, abs tight, I want you to inhale down, exhale up. Inhale, exhale. Three, four, five, keep going. Six, seven, eight, nine, good. 10, keep going, one, two, three, four, good, five, keep going, six, seven, eight, nine, and 20, fantastic. Push back, find a little child's pose for a second, circle out your wrists if you need to, take a little breath, good. And then we're gonna come up for a regular set of push-ups, okay? So this time, it just means that the hands are a little bit wider, and when the elbows bend, instead of staying by the ribs, they're actually out to the side this time, okay? So it's a little bit more of our regular size push-up. So remember, you have those three choices, right? All fours is great, knees are great, toes are great. And again, if you're on the wall, that's wonderful. Now, I like to take my hands wider than the mat here, but as long as they're wider than the shoulders, whatever is more comfortable for you, okay? So again, pick the position that's great for you right now. Fingers are a little bit wide, abs are strong. Start to inhale down, exhale up. Inhale, exhale, good. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Keep going. One, two, three, four, five. Keep breathing. Six, seven, eight, nine. One more. And ten. Awesome. Let's separate the knees. Let's send the seat back. Reach the arms forward. Take a little breath. Good. You can flip the palms up to the sky. Curl the fingertip into the palm. And then draw the palms back to the crown of the head. Fantastic. Good. And then we're going to come on back up. Good. All righty. So let's stand up. Let's grab our weights. Let's go ahead and move on to a little bit more into our arms here. So you'll go ahead and pick up your weights and you're going to go ahead and stand with your feet about hip distance apart. Palms are forward. Now you can stand on your mat as long as it's not slippery, right? Or you can stand on the floor. Just make sure you're not going to bump anything. So if you're too close to your wall, go ahead and get away from it. So from here, bend at the knee, roll the shoulders back and start to bicep curl. Good. Two, three, good, four. Now think about the way back down here. Sometimes we just think about the up and we let the weights drop. Try not to let the weights drop back down. Control them on their descent. Breathe through this as you go. Good, five to go, four to go, good, three to go, two to go, and one more, good. Bring the arms up, palms in, start to rotate, and two, and three, good, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and 10. Now take the arms up to the sides, relax the shoulders, start to press up and pull down. Press up and pull down, good, three, four, five, hang in there, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and 10. Bring the arms back down, palms face the thighs. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Try to lower with control again, keep breathing. Four, good, five, keep going. Six, seven, 
eight, wonderful, nine, last one, and bring it on back down. Take a breath, shake it out. Okay, so bring the arms kind of across the chest. Take a little bit of a wider stance with this one. Bend the knees, okay? And you're kind of holding your weight. So wherever they're comfortable, if you need to kind of hold them a little bit higher or something like that, that's okay. What I want you to do is take your elbows down, lift, lift, lift. Now pull your abs super tight as you work because what I want you to make sure of is that you're not arching your back as you lift the weights, right? So it's not looking like this, right? You're not lifting your elbows by moving your back. You're pulling your abs tight. Keep breathing, up and up, four to go, and up, and up, couple more, and up, two more, and up, one more, and up, and bring it on back down, take a little breath. Good, so from here, we're gonna go ahead and bend our knees, hinge in our hips a little bit, and pull our elbows up, and start to straighten the arm, and bend, two, three, four, five, keep breathing, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and take it back. Turn those palms up, press back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Turn the palms in and press in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And bring it on down. Good. All right, let's go ahead and place those weights back down on the ground. Meet me down on your mat. We're going to take a little quick stretch for our arms before we finish up with those abs. So arms out. Right hand to the left elbow, left hand to the shoulder to go up and back, taking a breath. Perfect. And then let's switch. Arms are back to the front. Left hand to the right elbow, right hand to the shoulder to go up and back. Good. And then let's release. Grabbing the ball. We're going to use the ball as a support, right? So we'll place it in the middle of the back. We'll lean back into it. Now, from here, your knees are bent, your feet are on the ground. Now, in this work, sometimes this ball in this position isn't quite as supportive. So if you find that this is just really too much for you, remember that instead of the middle of the back, to make it more manageable, you put the ball a little bit lower under the back, which props you up a little higher. That'll make it a little bit easier. Okay, so if you need that, you do that. I'm going to go to the center, all right? So we're going to lean back under those forearms. We're going to start by tilting the pubic bone up. So as soon as your pubic bone goes up, your back goes down. From here, bring your shoulders in towards your knees, hands under the thighs, elbows are lifted, and we're going to turn that head a little side to side. From here, keeping those abs pulled tight, I want you to pulse in and in. Good. And in. Keep breathing. And four. And five. Good. And six. And seven. And eight. Good. And nine. And ten. If you can, start to release. And two. And three. And four. And five. Good, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and tap. Take your hands in a fist, come up and tap. Up to tap, good. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Turn those arms up, ready? Reach the right hand forward, then the left, then the right, then the left. Good, keep breathing as you work. Inhaling and exhaling still. Four, good, three, two, and one. Coming up for just a second, give yourself a little break. Good, next set, ready? So let's lean back into the ball one more time. Forearms are down, tilt the pubic bone up, bring the shoulders and sternum in, hands under those thighs, elbows high. Let's walk the feet, the knees together. Take the hands off, take them over to the left and start to reach, and reach, and reach, good, and reach, keep breathing. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take them to the right and reach. Two, good. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Bring it back to the center. Let the knees drop to the side, feet together, and reach forward. And two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Keep the feet where they are, but take your arms a little higher and reach up and up. A little bit of a diagonal. Keep breathing. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then you're going to come on up. Great. Let's move that ball to the side, everybody. We're going to go ahead and lie down on our back and send our feet up. So flex those feet. Press into those arms. 
Start to raise the hips up. Good. Raise the hips up. Keep breathing. Three, four, five. Hang in there. Six, seven. Good. Eight, nine. One more. And ten. Now take those arms up. Lift up and reach up for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it back down for a second. Good. All right, final set here, ready? So we're gonna bring those arms across, or behind the head, palm over palm, take those legs into tabletop. We're gonna float up the head. I want you to bring your right elbow in the direction of your left knee, and then I want you to lift the right leg and lower. Lift it and lower. Doesn't have to go far, right? If you feel like your back's popping up off the floor, don't move the leg quite so much. Keep breathing, four to go. Good, you're holding that twist as you lift and lower that opposite leg. Two more, good. One more, bring it in. Switch, same thing. We're gonna lift and lower, lift and lower. Keep breathing, Woo. good. Make sure those abs are tight, the back stays on the floor, hang in there. It's harder than it looks like, right? Keep breathing, four to go. Woo. Keep breathing, three, two, one more and then bring it in, take a rest. Good, rock it side to side. Let's move the arms to the sides, drop the knees to the left, turn the head to the right, take a little breath. Good, and then we're gonna switch. So we're gonna turn the knees to the opposite side, the head to the opposite side, take a breath. And bring it on back to the center. Let's rock ourselves up and flip over. So we're coming up to the hands and the knees, we're gonna take a small tuck of the spine, so tucking the chin, tucking the tail, and rounding the spine up toward the sky. Take a breath. And then you're gonna send the seat back, you're gonna set the head forward, you're gonna let the abdominals lower down. And then we're gonna go ahead and release. Curl the toes, place the palms on the floor, lift the knees. Either move your feet towards your hands or your hands to your feet. Make sure you can't bump anything. As you bend the knees and roll it all the way back to the top, and you're all done, and I will see you soon. Have a great rest of the week, everybody.